So hello everyone, welcome to Lorenzo Data Solutions. My name is Sanipay Abraham. So before I continue to say anything in this uh, short video, so I want to say one thing that is, uh, it's my own view or opinion and doesn't represent anyone. So today we are going to talk about the latest releases on Employee Central H2 2021. So today we'd like to talk about the latest enhancements, releases for SAP Success Factors Employee Central H2 2021. So here with this release, we see a lot of, uh, you know, major updates that I have posted on my website let us try to discuss a few things from here let us try to understand so that it may be a great help for everyone watching this video so the first thing is uh, the release schedule for h2 2021 is the preview release 15th october 2021 production release is from the weekend of November 19th 2021 so here in this blog I have posted a few of the major updates on employee central the first major update is you know the to do task on the latest the next gen home page you know the SAP has updated you know the in the previous release there were only to do two to do tasks were possible but from this H2 2021 and uh, the all the workflow related the, all the task that is uh, you know workflow related or let us say requesting your approval section you know anything that triggers a system triggered kind of work is possible from the latest home page I think uh, you know Though the release was happened for the latest home page uh, last release, but now I think many customers didn't use uh, activating the latest home page. But I believe that after having observed all these features, you can activate from the V3 home page to the latest home page because there are many to do tasks are available from the latest home page and then you can see this is how it looks like uh, the approval section on the latest home page let us say job offer related job uh, requisition related the timesheet related workflows the time of related workflows and here what you can see you can see that uh, accept decline so you can see when you click on it, you can accept the request and you can click on this uh, edit option like where you can reject it. So that is why the to do task requesting your approval for something appear in the approval section uh, for you today. Uh, you can enable to do task on the latest home page via upgrade center. OK, so you can uh, experience it is almost uh, you know experience every uh, workflow related the task that is waiting for the approval uh, requesting rejecting declining and etc so now this is a, a new functionality for the first time all the to-do tasks are available and available for all the products like a modules employee central onboarding performance recruiting and etc and uh, this also supports like uh, the home page including mobile applications the feature is to do list and it is a major update and it is going to be effective in the production system 19th november 2021 so i hope this gives you more clarity and better understanding about this latest enhancement about the to do task on the latest home page and where you can activate it and experience the functionalities on the success factors home page the second thing is 
employee central workflow tasks also possible on the latest home page and uh, you can see here is almost similar to that that all the workflow related and from when it is effective submitted submitted by and you can also view the details so when you click on the view details uh, you will see the approval page and uh, it's almost similar to the the previous uh, the look and feel of the approval page you are able to see for any workflow an approver is going to approve it and even without viewing the details and you can click on this button i can approve it and uh, you can also click on this you can reject it and you can directly do it anything you want and this is also available from 19th october uh, sorry 19th november 2021 and this is for employee central and uh, success factors platform and even the third uh, enhancement the third enhancement from the h2 2021 release is auto delegation that means you can now respond to the workflow you know auto delegation request uh, you know on the uh, on the home page so it allows you uh, to delegate to accept or reject the workflow delegation request but that you will see on the latest home page for you to do a uh, section area and you can see auto delegation request upcoming delegation you can accept reject and you can also view the details <coughs> if you look at uh, carefully the look and feel completely changes the functionality is same it looks like a more attractive compared to the tiles that you have from the v11 home page v12 home page now we have v3 and now we have the latest uh, the home page and it gives you more look and feel kind of experience and uh, very attractive as well and this feature is available from the major and it is a new functionality for the first time uh, workflows on the latest home page so now if you observe from the last uh, these three points uh, like delegation to do task options more available on the latest home page or uh, the workflow task can be experienced and uh, performed on the latest home page the auto delegation on the latest so almost uh, that uh, the full features maximum available from the latest home page now it's time for all the customers to upgrade to the latest home page and experience all the to-do task related workflow related auto delegation related functionalities though last time this feature was uh, enhanced but still most customers didn't opt for it but i feel it is a time for us to activate it and experience the functionalities so another the major enhancement that you will see from the h2 2021 release is all about downloading the import template from the base uh, model of country specific regional uh, entities you know you can have the option to download the base model it's like importing the employee data screen so this allows the customers to download uh, uh, even including the not only the base data function but it also can be included the country specific uh, uh, fields uh, the entities can be included for example when you go and click on import employee data you are selecting the template uh, csv template like job history you know if you look at the country region this was not uh, this is available but now it is a mandatory you can uh, select like company a legal entity division when the country specific is not selected when you select the country you know the system will say uh, please select the country and region when you select the country and region automatically in the selection area the country specific fields also will be included and accordingly you can generate a template and import the template and perform the activities actually this is a new thing sap has introduced uh, 
uh, in H2 2021 release and from the October 19th this is going to be available in the system. The last feature that uh, you will experience is uh, scheduled job manager in employee central imports. You know as a system admin you can monitor scheduled job background jobs a scheduled job manager tool in uh, provisioning you know but now you as an admin you can monitor scheduled uh, background jobs or scheduled job manager directly in admin center now so now for all the employee central data related imports or a foundation data related imports you know there are some background jobs that you can monitor directly from the instance itself. You don't need to go to the provisioning and uh, to monitor. But this scheduled job monitor is only for uh, uh, that you can access. It's only for employee central imports. So you can click on uh, scheduled job manager and you will find a scheduled job manager related for uh, foundation data imports, employee data imports, not for anything else. So you can see that job ID, job name, job type. And if you remember, we used to explain all these in the provisioning actually. How to create a scheduled job type, a monitor, and etc. So these are all the few uh, functionalities you have. And from the latest home page, uh, sorry, from the latest H2 2021 release for Employee Central. And even you have one more uh, MDF related workflows, you know, you know, for any generic object, for any MDF object, a custom object that you create a workflow also supports uh, the latest home page. You see, I think this release, you are seeing major enhancements, updates about the latest home page to do task, workflow related task. MDF objects related workflows, <coughs> auto delegation, and a scheduled job uh, manager for employee data imports and uh, foundation data imports. And I believe that uh, you have, uh, uh, you know, a lot of enhancements from this release. And all those who are watching this video, hope it gives you a better understanding, the clarity. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video and see you all again next time with a new update. Thank you so much. Bye everyone.